Live. Live from Factory Underground Radio. It's Triply Adapted with Kyote and Kate. You're on. Yes, y'all, a little PYT, Michael Jackson. Pretty young thing. My, I think my, I think my, so apparently mm-hmm. the controversy is my oh sister boy. is texting me oh as I'm doing the show. And, and I hope she's listening because I know she's listening. She should call in. She's texting me as I'm doing the show saying no. Mom, I mean, dad loved that Aww. song, not mom. I'm like, no, you shut up. I'm the oldest. Oh, Jeez. I know what mom liked, Sibling and mom love. definitely liked. I know she liked that song because I remember her saying that dad, our dad, used to play it for her, and she used to love it. Aww. So there you go. It's a shout out to there, both. So now, yeah. So she, so Listen, I'm shouting out your name. Be careful. She goes your food. Yeah, that's a, I'm shouting <laughs> out your name. Yes, I remember exactly the story <laughs> um, of of Pretty Young Thing by Michael Jackson. But we got something for you. We got we got our our weekly. Or we tried to do a weekly film review. Mm-hmm. Uh, we actually watched a movie, guys. We did. And we, we went we to the theater. We went to the theaters to see none other than Bad Boys for Ride life. or Die. Oh, I'm sorry. No, For Life was the last one. No. For life I just the, like it. For Life was the last one. No, right? it's just the moniker, man. Oh, that's that. Keep, you keep, yeah, you it mess is. me up with that. It, I know. Me up. But it's great. Uh, bad Boys <laughs> Ride or Die, the, four, the fourth installment in what I think is a great a great. Yeah. Uh, um, Franchise. Uh, great franchise. I couldn't mm-hmm. thank you, Kate. For, I couldn't think of the word, but a Absolutely. great franchise, starring none other than Martin Lawrence, and of course the the, the Will Smith, the Academy Award winning, slap wielding. Oh, uh, stop Will, it! Oh, sorry, you know it's all it's terrible. Let the man I, live. I forgive Will by now, right? Oh, all, oh, he slapped Will? you, huh? Do we all forgive Will? Why I, I, we had this conversation last week. Like, it's not about forgiveness. It's like leave that up to Chris Rock. I mean, th- just let it go already. Oh, well, we gotta, we gotta forgive him by now, right? Like, it, 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 it's a wrap, right? We done, we done, gotten. Was it been two years? Yeah. All right. Almost three. I think we're done. I think it's over. I think we're done. All and right. Will, and Will is such a good actor in some of the, th- in most of the mm. things he does. Most. Mm. I didn't say all. Mm. Most mm-hmm. of the things, uh, of the things that he does. Oh yeah. 100%. Um. But it was great. It was it, it was it was a feel good, fun movie. It just picks up where the last one left off, where he uh, connects with his son, who's a criminal, and uh, he kind of tries to find that balance between being in his son's life and helping him, and then also trying to do his job. Right. And uh, yeah, I, I I kind of I I totally agree with you. Um, not the not the best out of the series. No. But definitely really good. Like, yeah. definitely really good. Action-packed. Not as long. It was about an hour and 50 minutes, hour and yeah. 54 minutes. Um, it moved quick. The story was cool. The acting was cool. Like, everything was to me, it, it wasn't a bad movie at all. So it's just the worst of the four, right? So to me, the first two are my favorite. Three mm-hmm. is a very close second, actually, to number two. Three, yeah. three was very three good. Three wasn't bad. Three was very good. Um, and four <clears throat> was cool. Like yeah. So I, I gave it like a, a solid B. I oh, gave it a B. that's higher than I was anticipating. I was going to go B+. From, plus. It's B+. Plus, B+, plus is higher, B right? B+, plus is higher. Yeah, I'm going to go we solid B. We've been over this rating I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, I, you know, You're I messing just, it up for people. I, I do. I, I am. Right. But I give it a solid B. Um, nothing lower than this, oh, guys. Hold to on. the bottom of the tub. The bu- I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> the butter does trickle down Lies. to the rest of the popcorn Lies. in the bottom of the bucket. It really does. Folks, don't believe that. What you got to do is that you, you spread that butter around, you tap the bucket like three, four times, Lord. and that butter makes its way down to the bottom of that bucket. Mm-hmm. I'm, I swear it does. All right. I swear it does. Sure. Um, but yeah, they're looking for they're looking for Inside Out two to be to be a hit. So the first one was great. I enjoyed it thoroughly. The first one, yeah, yeah, the first one was good. And now it's intriguing because she's a teenager, right? And now so they're introducing uh, anxiety and depression. No, no, and no. Um, I don't think depression's in. It. I think that was a little too deep. Anxiety. They and, have anxiety. Uh, they have shyness, worry, uh, worry, embarrassment, embarrassment, shame. No embarrassment. Oh, okay, that's sorry. <laughs> sorry. What was this like? <laughs> You kind of did that like... I got really hyped on that one. Like someone was like about to get beheaded. (laughs) Shame! Like, you know, off with his head. Like, you kind of just said it like that. E for emotion. No, terrible. Sorry. No, no, not E for emotion. (laughs) Like A for adultery. Get it? Okay. Yeah, you're going too deep with this. Uh, Sing it, Tisha. That's that's a little Tisha Campbell. Uh, That song has Spike Lee all over it. Be Alone Tonight from the film School Days. If you... Listen, if you haven't seen School Days... You ain't no you you ain't seen film. That mm-hmm. film sure. is, is Spike Lee's hand in a musical, a black college musical, by the way, that in that had singing. 
dancing, great acting, John Carlos Bezito, Lawrence Fishburne, Tisha Campbell, uh, Jasmine Guy. I mean, everybody was in it. I mean, you want to talk about just greatness in terms of, uh, of, 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 I guess you would say, guerrilla filmmaking in a way where not having a big budget, but still getting the highest quality of acting and film work from your from your stars and your your crew well that's his style i think school days school days is one of my favorites that's his style oh yeah school so. days listen yeah school days is one of my favorite y'all um but i wanted to get, I wanted to bring some attention to you guys here at uh scriptly adapted thank you for listening this is scriptly adapted on factory underground radio um we 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 have an we have an instagram page yeah yeah uh, wfut mm-hmm. um i i I want to say that is the name. It is. The it name. is the name, right? Yeah, it's okay. authentic. Because that's you know, true. We're, we're kind of revitalizing, we're bringing it back. Uh, but follow that page because that's where you're going to find every show that airs here on Factory Underground Radio. Um, we're going to get that back and going. You're going to see um, a list of, 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 of shows coming out during the week. Our show mm-hmm. you can always expect every Friday at 5 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to see Matt Zako's show, The City's Backyard, on there, uh, which you hear me on tomorrow with Matt. Um, and, and other shows also that are produced uh, here Absolutely. at Factory Underground Radio. So stay tuned. And we're going to keep uh, tagging them in our post, too, so you can just click them and take you right to their page. Queenie um, is a British-based show. Um, it is very good. It's, I would say... You like it? You know, it took me a second. I think they talked about some really relevant issues, um, and they did it in a very tasteful way. And it really, but it, but it was poignant, and I oh, liked yeah. it. I appreciated yeah. it for that. I did really um, feel for her. Um, she was brilliantly casted. I thought the main actress was great, um, and I also think it's like it has Bridget Jones's vibes, and and it actually even has one of the main characters is from Bridget Jones. Well, look at that. Okay. <laughs> um, I was like, oh my god. Um, it's Auntie Una. Anyway, sorry. Um, but yeah, it was it was good. I, I was intrigued. I stuck with it. I binged it. I finished it at 2 a.m. on Tuesday night, so it was fine. Wow. But anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I liked it. I think it's worth a watch. Okay. Queenie, and that's Queenie on Hulu. Queenie, on Hulu. Check out Queenie. Check out The Acolyte. The Boys is back in town, baby, on Amazon. If you are a Boys fan, I am watching the first. I think there's three episodes out right now. I'm going to binge the heck out of them later tonight, guys. No, uh, I not. cannot wait. Yeah, I might, I might pass no, out. No, absolutely I not. might fall asleep. Um, but yes, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try. But The Boys is back on Amazon. Power is back. It was good. Came back with a vengeance mm-hmm. episode one, which is this is the last season of Power, by the way, guys. Um, I am so curious how they're going to end this. Um, it, it started off with a bang. You know, uh, Tariq's getting away. T- Tariq's getting away. He's getting away. Tariq can't die. The shy. Yeah, this is the one. Mm-hmm. Yep. The shy. Yep. Yep. Again, a great show, guys. This I is know. on Paramount Plus and Showtime. It's true. Um, this is not the last season. They got a couple more seasons. Actually, they signed on for another season, so this isn't it. But this yeah. season almost feels like it could be it because it's a lot come. A lot is building into the season, emotional wise and character wise, character it, development. It is. But like we spoke about briefly last week, I feel like the acting this season. Is not as great as it's been. It's never been like super good, no. but I think it's just because the premise of the show and you fall in love with the characters, you kind of overlook it. Yes. But um, and now the show's at a pinnacle where you don't even care. But this season's just kind of like, hmm. like Shad's character. Like who cares? Unless something big no happens with Shad's Jason character, Weaver, man, like, I, he's not interesting anymore. No, he it, never was interesting though. He was. No, he wasn't. I liked him. I liked him. He because was boring. And random. Okay, was he necessary? No. But he wasn't boring to me. He I think was there's, random. Because I think what's going to happen is he's going to be the person to bring all the men together again in terms of like that meeting they all have. He's going to be the voice of reason. I think right now he's just going through a little something that he's going to come back. In a black to, coat. Yeah, he's going to come back <laughs> to his roots which is trying to be a better person, and I think we'll, I think we're going to see that. Okay. I think we're going to see. I think All his right. character is going to surprise us. Okie dokes. But we'll see. Shy, listen. The shy is on that again. I'm waiting for the ne- new episodes to drop. The episodes. I know. Been- I'm eagerly. I mean, this is what happens when you get all caught up with yeah. something, and this is why I'm very disappointed that you guys just don't drop the whole season at once. Shame but, on you. But guys, listen. This is that's the shy. We got the power book. Yo, you got to check these out. But the boys, loot, uh, the acolyte. All highly Queenie and Queenie and Queenie, all all highly uh, highly recommended. You're just gonna dub right over Queenie, though. I, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna that wasn't right. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna double. That wasn't right at all. Uh, 
Hey, it's Kate and Coyote from Scriptly Adapted Radio at Factory Underground Studio based here in Norwalk, Connecticut. Factory Underground offers a wide array of classes where you can learn how to be a podcaster, be a content creator, produce music, and so much more. Come on down and check out everything they have to offer. Sing it, Monet. Sing it. <laughs> a little, a little oh, Real Love by oh, Mary man. J. Classic. That's like her, that was like her first big hit, right? Listen, I, I don't uh, know. It's just great. We had to play homage. We had to pay homage to the 90s R&B yeah. when we were talking about uh, Monet. Mary J. Blige herself playing Monet in the, in the, uh, the show, The uh, Power Book. You see, you almost said it, too. Look well, at you. Well, yeah, Look at you. You almost said the shot. I almost said the shot. I know shy. you did. I almost said the shot. I don't know why. I'm I, redeemed. I, no. I, yeah, you... <laughs> I almost said the shy, um, but yeah, man, that takes me, man, my mom used to, and I think I'm going to get, I, 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 I know I'm right about this one. <laughs> You're so going to get another text from I'm going to get another text <laughs> from my sister. My mother played the heck out of that CD. I remember this. She bought the CD. Oh, she used that she, CD. She, we were living in Yonkers. That's compact disc, y'all. The artist of the month this month yeah. is New Edition. There we go. And we're going to highlight the song, If It Isn't Love. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 1988, 1988 single. Thank you for joining us on another week here at Scriptly Adapted on Factory Underground Radio. Uh, we, we, we love coming here and bringing you everything we love about film, TV, streaming, movie, news, all that good stuff, and bringing you some music, too, that you can yeah. enjoy on your ride home or just bop to while you just, you said bop. While just chilling at home, maybe just just listen to music you know maybe you're cleaning up something you just mm. listen to something just you know cleaning up something yeah you clean okay. up something all right um but thank you again y'all <laughs> this is uh this has been fun uh join us next week with another edition of scriptly adapted here at factory underground radio i'm your boy Kyote. and i'm Kay. and this is if it isn't love new edition <laughs> You're just listening to Scriptly Adapted on Factory Underground Radio and Live 365. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Scriptly Adapted.